Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about carcanial fracture imaging. Carcanial fracture are the most common tarsal of fracture and can occur in a variety of settings. The carcanus is the most commonly fractious tarsal bone and account for about 2% of all fractures and 60% of all tarsal fractures. By pathology, calcaneus fracture can be divided in, into extra articular, which is present around 25 to 30 percent. So what we can find in this form is anterior calcaneus process. Calcaneal tuberosity, evasion fracture, extra articular body fracture, we call low, lower, lower fracture, maya sustain taculum, and intra articular fracture present around, present in around 70 to 75%. So we can find the form like intra Articular body fracture. The calcaneus is also a common site of stress fracture occurring in the posterior superior aspect. Another method of classification is as tiling fracture. The anterior process of the calcaneus is fractures. Tie B fracture of the knee calcaneus trochlear process and sustentaculum tali and thai C fracture of the posterior tuberosity. In the plant vein, calcaneus fracture are best assessed with the calcaneus series of the radiograph. Though are often identified on a lateral anchor radiogram. If the presentation does not lead to requesting of the calcaneal view specifically, the Bockler and Kissan anchor are used to assess the severity of calcaneal fractures and their post operation to apparent is correlated with function outcome. This is an example of calcaneal interarticular fracture with degrees both plus and con. As we can, as we can see, on the lateral view, you can see the the fracture line go from the distal of the calcaneus through the body into the joint. And we can appreciate on the axis of so all calcaneus view, we can see Clearly, the lucency line, covilinear lucency line fracture. This is an example of extra articular body fracture, we call low, low, lower fracture of the hill. So, this show fracture through the calcaneum, extending through the to a plantar spur is noted. This is a sample of calcaneus tuberosity evasion fracture. 
So evasion fracture at the insertion of the arculeus tendon with marked separation of fragment. In this three yard radiograph, so the a cortical erectility erectility in the region of the anterior process of the calcaneus and also soft swelling, no traumatic alignment with chronic Malus, vagus, and first meta tasso pharyngeal degenerative change. In CT, so CT is the modality of the choice to evaluate calcaneal fracture. It can show the extent an extra or intra-articular component of the fracture and hematoma along the sole of the foot mondo sign. Intra-articular fracture are often classified using Sander classification system, which one of the only systems that correlate well with patient outcome. The CT is an example of extra articular fracture of the ganglia involving the posterior velocity of the ganglia not reaching the subtalar joint, intact area tender, tendon, an accidental finding of post trigonum. This is an example of lower fracture, commuted fracture of the calcaneus extending to articular surface of the subtalar joint. The CT show undisclosed fracture of the anterior calcaneal process with extension to articular surface of the calcaneal shoe joint. Thus, of foot soft tissue spalling. Practical point. Practical point. If by lateral calcaneal fracture are seen, the spine should also be evaluated for fracture as the mechanism of injury is often large blow to the axial skeleton, such as a fall from the hand. If an intra-articular calcaneal fracture is seen, the image should be screwed Tonight for a lateral malleolus sections, which raise the likelihood of the peroneal tendon instability. Thank you.